thing than anything else. And I think he's probably been one of the weakest prime ministers for a number of years, mm. other than Gordon Brown. Well, we don't know. We, we, we genuinely don't know what pressure she's been under, what the issues are. Maybe she's incredibly powerful and we've avoided some catastrophes that we don't know about. But you're right. Uh, I mean, I've, I've, I've had direct feedback from... Um, was one of my one of my patients who's a grade A celebrity and and these guys get invited to checkers uh, believe it or not so he he's had um, tea at checkers with two of the prime ministers and both of them hated being prime minister they they hated it with a venom so these are the people leading the country one of them wanted to leave as quickly as possible because he was desperate to um, make as much money as possible whereas his wife enjoyed being first lady and we all know who that is but um, the, the point to make is that she's never looked as if she's enjoyed being prime minister and I think we need to get someone who um, actually wants to do good and lead the country and, and, and this is the problem because the thing is these politicians are making decisions they're not doing what's in best for the country they're doing is what's best for themselves correct okay and the thing is they will not speak out against islam if if there's a problem with radical ra- radical islam i'm talking about they will not speak out against radical islam they will um, appear to be doing the right thing by putting people like tommy robinson in prison because the thing is at the end of the day they want to be re-elected so it's not about doing what's right and leaders and when you're actually leading whether it's a constituency whether it's a constituency whether, whether you're reading a, a, a what, what is it Cons- a constituency constituency thank you whether you're reading leading a constituency or leading a country you are leading a group of people and you have a responsibility mm. to those set of people of doing what is right not what um, not what's right for you and, that, and that's what one of the reasons why democracy doesn't work but we, we have torn democracy parts on many occasions we, before we have done and it does because people will put their self interest first so in terms of in, in terms of how these politicians will behave they're not behaving what's with best for the country and you know what and whether you like donald trump or whether you actually hate him and i'll bring him back into the fold again has he proven to be a bad president with all the with all the apocalyptic noise that was going around that when he became elected that his finger was on the button and all this and all the scaremongering that was put out by 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 these left these left-wing democrats actually if you actually look at him, he's probably been a better, a more effective president in other in, a, in other areas because he okay. appears authentic. That's the because thing. One, he's authentic. You don't have to like him. He's doing what he believes is right. And that's why Jeremy Not Corbyn lasts actually, because there is a whip of authenticity there, about him there is, but he, he is a joke you know um, that's why he's not well that's electable. because his principles are a joke but nevertheless he's, he's not electable the, the power electable. his power is authenticity even though we might yeah, not agree with it that's not enough that's not enough of a variable it'll get it'll get him so far but mm-hmm. it'll get him to leadership whereas donald trump i mean he, he played a strategic game but that wasn't the point he's um, he's put tariffs up now it doesn't benefit the likes of the uk or and, and china and he stuck to his word Europe, but the thing is, he's put this 25% tariff. He's, you know, you got all these economists and are saying, oh, it's not going to have a huge effect on the, um, you know, on the economical situation in the states. Well, actually, let's see, let's see after four years how much of that an effect it has. Jobs have increased over there. The economy's increased over there. So, you know, as 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 a president, he's a, he's applied a business approach, and it's actually been successful. And, and his first actions were to sign executive orders, which the establishment then yeah. went against. But he kept his word. He, well, he's attempted to keep his he's word. He's attempted to keep you his know, word. I mean, I'm, I'm not sure what's happening with the wall. But, but it, then it again, does the establishment no favours, though, does it? If if they block what he was elected for. And, and this is where the lobbyists and everything get it wrong. I mean, the thing is, we are so controlled by government in so many ways for the wrong reasons. There's a lack of there's a lack of what's right. You know, um, we are supposed to be a religious country in some ways, mm. and um, you know, we we're supposed to have a moral upstanding on how we actually behave and how we act and not about money I mean uh, funny enough I was actually uh, I came across an article the other day about marijuana for example and I'm um, it's not that I'm an advocate social taker of marijuana yet the thing is this thing is supposed you know this thing is only can only be purchased as a med- as on, on a medical for medical use um, by, a, by a doctor 
um, because it's the way the pharmaceutical companies actually control it because they get the money. So all these lobbyists are actually have so much influence on how people people take things. Now, if someone wants to grow their own cannabis, for example, and take it to actually prevent chronic pain, now I'm sure there are side effects to marijuana. I mean, I think long-term usage will actually cause loss of memory and even schizophrenia in some cases. Depression, Depression. and psychosis. In, in some, yeah, but those are the side effects like any pharmaceutical drug that are also being being put out there. I mean, well, indeed, alcohol is, is uh, actually has worse physical and psychological effects than cannabis. Yeah, and and um, uh, nevertheless, what, what people don't focus on is that most car accidents uh, associated with some kind of substance are more drug related than alcohol related. And cannabis itself, what people don't know is that cannabis affects your one of the things it does is is affect your judgment of distance so think everything is foreshortened and it also affects your ability to read and um, uh, coordinate an instrument uh, mm-hmm. layout uh, so for instance they gave they gave a, um, a joint of cannabis to a helicopter pilot and the guy the helicopter pilot couldn't land the helicopter um, and similarly with buses, they did the same thing. They gave them a joint of cannabis, and they they had great difficulty uh, professional drivers parking their bus. Um, but, but yeah, you know, I, I get that. But the thing is, it's also I mean, look, there's medication out there that, that prescribed by pharmaceutical company which says do not use heavy machinery using this drug, mm. or, or used to be something like that. different. Lines. But but again, if you, the thing is. If you completely legalize it and lo- of many, many people are using cannabis, you're going to have a lot more car accidents. Um, I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not dispu- I'm not disputing that, but what I'm, saying, what I'm saying is that people actually have to... I mean, people could actually go and buy some hemp seed or whatever and, gr- and grow some cannabis and, um, and, and that'll solve their chronic back pain absolutely free of charge. Just like you can go but to your garden... It needs grow, to be and done. Just, you can go, you it can needs to be done tomatoes. properly. It needs to be done properly, so... They, they, they legalize it for sure and there are many good reasons for legalizing it which we can go into but then that people need to be educated to so say if you're using cannabis I'm afraid you can't drive well, they're not going to do that why? because the pharmaceutical companies get more money um you know, ma- manufacturers of plastic actually would lose out because the thing is, people will go back to making ropes out of hemp again rather than those plastic things that are out there. Um, clothes, which are made out of hemp, which is a far stronger material long term. So there's, there's, there's many reasons. Anyway, but it's not about this. this we, we, I want to go back onto the Tommy Robinson thing. It's how the governments are behaving. Are they behaving in an appropriate manner um, that actually has... That, that is actually justice for the whole country or is it one rule for one and one rule for no, the other the answer of course is not it's all political correctness and, and that's weak but whose benefit it's for their benefit correct you know, so it's all vested it, interest. By putting, exactly. It all com- all this comes down to vested what, interest. What people don't understand is that wherever there is a vested interest, you're going to have unfairness. Whether you go and see a solicitor, a solicitor has a vested interest to make money. Uh, they're not going to tell you you haven't got a hope. Uh, whether you go and see a private doctor. I know plenty of private doctors who underprescribe or admit people unnecessarily because if they don't, they're not going to make a living. Uh, democracy doesn't work for the same reason they have a vested interest to be elected different of course if you have a dictator or a monarch or some kind of religion completely different yeah but they can they can decide whether they can decide one rule for one person one rule for another as well There's but that's no different that, that, then that goes down to their individual beliefs well, yeah, rather yeah, that, than vested what, interest that, that, that's where you are if the dictator doesn't like you you know so if, let's, let's say we had a dictator uh, which we're not far, well, then that would be a bad which, dictator. Which we're, which we're not far off, and they say, "Do you know what? I don't know this Tommy Robinson. Actually, let's put him in prison for the next twenty years." Correct, but that would be a bad dictator. And and of course, what's interesting is so that we're, both, we're, we're, both we've Trump, argued this before. What's a good dictator? Both, both Donald Trump and Theresa May have tried to take on um, a more dictatorial position. So, for instance, that is why Theresa May call the snap election last year because she decided she didn't have quite enough power to push Brexit through the way she wanted. She needed more power. In other words, she needed to be challenged less. She needed to oh, get closer oh, oh, to being I, a dictator. I, yeah, not, not Same yet. with Donald Trump. No, I, I agree. And, and I mean, he's going to have, he's, he's had his challenges. But do you know what? 
if you look at the facts and you look at the figures, they actually do speak for themselves in terms of um, what's happened. The only way to push things through is by being a dictator. Everything else is political correctness and vested interest. It, it, it's, having the, it's having the power and the autonomy to be able to do it without being restricted. Um, yet, I, I, underst- I understand the need <coughs> of going through... Um, you know, of, of going through a certain process. Um, but the thing is, I mean, you, t- you know, half these bloody civil servants are so busy having a cup of tea and a chocolate macaroon every half an hour as they're discussing it, but they never really come up with any concrete solution, and they just take t- and they just take too long to do it. You know, you just look at the European Union at the moment and what's actually happening in Italy or what's happened in Italy in terms of um, in terms of the political turmoil that are actually happening over that's actually happening over there it's the level of control that Europe are actually putting on that and people and people now what people in people are actually beginning to fight back so again I, when I talked about the moderates um, now they're going to be intermingled with a, with the far right and, and and listen no one wants the far right any any no one wants the far right here any 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 less than any more than I do you, they, um, but Italy and Greece are goners and and what what happens is as research has shown in societies that societies will rise up and become more authoritarian bottom up rather than top down once they put under some kind of acute th- threat so it could be acute infection it could be famine um, but if you if you cause starvation gradually then it doesn't make people rise up and be authoritarian and therefore what they've done to Greece and Italy and, and Spain is they've caused this gradual death of uh, the, the uh, morale of the country so they become they take on the, the victim so they 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 really are they, i mean they, they've done experiments with dogs and and if you keep on electrocuting a dog uh, it, very soon the dog just gives up and just lies down and and lets its body be shocked um, and that's called learned helplessness in other words you're not in any situation where you have control learned helplessness and that's what's happened to these countries they they become learned helpless because of course the people are writing articles now saying well you know were, the issue of leaving Europe came up six years ago in Italy and they still haven't solved it and it's come up again and they're saying what well, this is a real problem because it that's because Germany has so much control over that I mean the mm. thing is the first step is the UK leaving and um, and and that's and that's I think there's going to be other countries are going to follow that. I don't think it. I I. I although they, Europe they, are looking to put. Hold on a second. Although Europe are looking to put a lot of pressure to uh, 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 look, look create a lot of problems for the UK to leave um, to actually prevent other countries from actually leaving yes. the EU so they're doing that but I think there's going to come a point where Italy can't actually cope with what's happening over there I don't think I, th- I actually think it's learned helplessness I don't I think Italy and Greece are now beyond the pale unless unless you get a great leader um, a, a charismatic leader make the country rise up but the people are not going to do it so the the authoritarian bottom up is not going to happen now well the thing is as, as uh, you know and as I said previously the people from the more, more moderate right are going to actually start being more supportive now, particularly with this whole Tommy Robinson situation and particularly the people in Italy because now they're not getting um, they're, they're actually beginning to see that they're actually more control than they actually really are um, and they're not going to be treated fairly you see but the really good people hold on a second sorry sorry I, um, go I, I ahead get this one out. People are, people are going to rise up and, and people are going to actually fight back and um, they're going to come back far more aggressive because if you push too much in one direction, there's a point where all the people, people will either lie down and take it, which is what you call learned helplessness, or what's going to do is you're going to get someone who's going to be quite inspirational, like the Martin Luther Kings of this world on the, on the other scale, and he is going to rally enough they're going to rally enough people together where people are actually going to fight back and what people actually haven't realized now, and, and i know i talked about the football hooligan culture that was presented itself on downing street and that's just one very t- that's just the tip of the iceberg because if you've got all these ex-football hooligans and football supporters who are quite tribal and that, and and um, by their region of the, the who, which football team they support, if they actually amalgamated the whole country in terms of um, a common a, a common enemy, a common cause, you've got a lot of very aggressive, testosterone fueled, angry people who can fight, going to start taking to the streets. 
and that's and, and what's going to happen is those people who were once moderate and once actually wanted to to to, to follow the line are going to actually be influenced a lot by these far right people who are going to start intertwining themselves in there and you are going to have problems because the thing is the government any government actually in Europe is not being serious enough about the people mm-hmm. who were who are was indigenous to the country i suppose yes i i